Merry Christmas. Make me, make me wanna shout. <laughs> I told you, every Christmas one, I'm gonna wear a hat. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> it's me, Sherry Moulton, back with another video. I am making another bling bling reef. It's gonna fall off. Reef, I went to um, the store where I have all my my um, paintings and she's seen this one and wanted it in the store. So this one's going and I'm just gonna, I feel bad because the clip that was to go on the end of the video didn't get on the video, which most of you had um, commented. I apologize. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a short video because I have um, resined quite a few pieces. So I'm going to put them on my wall upstairs and I'll show you some pictures of that and this one. So today's color, I'm excited. And it ain't going to be as long video because I've already base coated it. Is this color, I think it's going to be pretty. So we're going to be doing like an ice, an ice Christmas. Oh my goodness, my hat's falling off. I will take it off because it'll end up in the painting. Anyways, I'm going to flip you down and we'll go through everything I'm using. I have a new stand. And hopefully you're not going to be crooked. Look at you're all in here. Amazing. Off with my hat. And... There we go. We have a whole bag to go through, my people, and it's only November. So, I actually I forgot to show you. This is my little sherry snippet. This is um, a toll painting picture that I have made. Again, like I said, I give everything away. My dad has this one. This is my favorite. So, that's the snippet today. So I am using, again, my Dollar Star canvases. These are a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped. And I found these also at the dollars, not the dollar store. There is a little, oh, actually, yes, these ones were Dollarama. These are adorable. So you can fill it up with stuff. So I was thinking that could be my little bow and it came in three colors this one's kind of like a blue and this one is white so as things go i change my mind all the time i have this one from michael's so i'm doing silver so as we go we might uh, switch things up with that being said, we're going to do the um, rock and roll, the wood grain. I am just ecstatic how this turned out. This is my tool. It is in my Amazon shops and very, very cool. Actually, I'm going to pour some water in my jug before we get going because we need to rinse it out after every move and I'm going to try and um, I'm going to flip the canvas because it's hard to get I tended to have I don't know if you can see it that great or not but you tended it was in the same spot so I was like the wood grain started I'm thinking I might do one this way flip the canvas over, do the next one the other way. So you'll get more of a, a variegated um, wood grain instead of it all being the same. I went out and I bought these. We're going to try. These were from the dollar store. They were, th so I was trying to find a wider brush so that you didn't have to worry about the, um, the glaze and the paint drying. And I'm hoping it stayed. Woohoo! I put it in a container. So this is the um, 
Art. I just bought this at Tri Art, so you can get the anywhere. The glazing medium, and then this was the paint I have in there. It is burnt umber, also from Tri Art. Again, I am going to link the actual store where I purchase it. It is called Art Noise, and that will be linked in it as well. And one more thing. Yeah, so I'll go through the rest of the products as we're going to use them. So I have my water because you're supposed to wipe this off after every... Maybe I'll use a cloth instead of paper towel. It will give it a better... Um, you can get into the, the grooves. So I'm going to wet my cloth. And have it ready. All right. My little light's out of the way. All right, I'm excited. All right, let's go. I don't want to waste this because this stuff is... Oh yes, perfect. Perfecto. And I... Just gonna, oh my goodness, gotta do it quick. And if it goes over, it don't matter because I'll show you the edges on this other one because it turned out really good. You just want to make sure it's wet. And here we go. Down first. With a bit of pressure. And... Not too bad. I'm gonna flip it. And the next row. I think we're gonna have to move a little quicker because I think it dried. forgot to wipe it. All right, cloth I think is working. All right, here we go. Pressure. And pull. And back. Awesome. Now it's not as, uh, I was going to as um, shockingly, well, actually, I guess it is. I was gonna say, it doesn't show. I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe. And I'm not sure if I was supposed to leave this. Like, I've never really worked with glazing medium before, so it's all new to me as well. Flip it again. I like that idea of flipping it because now you're not getting everything. I'm just hoping I'm keeping you in the frame. All right, here we go. Quick look a bunny, quick look a bunny. At least you know the video will be quick because you got to work fast. <laughs> oh, and I apologize about the ads. I have no idea about the ads. I um down up. Woo yeah, the ads. I'm not sure how that works because when I go in to pick them, see, I have Prime, so I can't. I don't see any ads. I don't know if it's Prime or whatever it is that I pay. So I don't see ads. And 
so I don't know what's what, but when I, I can pick, so I went and I, I fixed it in my thing, but then people this morning were still saying that they were getting like a lot of ads. So I'll have to contact um, YouTube just to see, because that's not fair. I want you guys to watch the video. I buy the family one, so it's like 18 bucks here Canadian a month. It's kind of my husband's entertainment. So, all right, I wanna make sure it's still wet. All right, here we go, my friends. Stop, drop, and roll, is that what they say? There, drag, roll, and back up. Cool. I like the idea that it's different. That was my only thing with the other one. Oops, I popped it right off. Uh, there we go. Keep that dry, keep that wet. We're gonna flip it back. There we go. We're still in the frame, which is awesome. And one more, two more. Now, with the size of this brush, I was noticing that I got six boards on this 20 by 20 canvas. So when you're doing your reef, you can eyeball it so that you've get like, you know, two boards on each side and put it in the middle, just for placement. So you're not having to down. Sorry, I have to stop talking and concentrate. You guys are probably going, yes, she's shutting up. Well, maybe not, because I'm talking now. There. Oh. Very cool. And like I said, if there's some spots that aren't perfect, who cares, because you're covering it up. I do like this bluey color. It's kind of like a... I was wanting to go for like an icy Christmas blue. This glazing medium, I'm just gonna rinse this in here. Um, leaves everything kind of, ah, um, like sticky and clumpy. Like I'm getting a lot of, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't see it, but after the fact it, it goes all clumpy. All right, well, the last ones, here we go. <laughs> and a little bit more. And with the glaze, I didn't mention, with the glazing medium, it's suggested to use four parts paint or, oh, no, 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 four parts of the glazing medium to one part paint. Did I flip it? That way. No, I did not flip it. Oh, <laughs> see, my memory's bad. It's good, but short. Here we go. Hopefully it's still wet enough. There we go. And rocker and drag it. Now somebody was saying I should put door handle and da 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 da, but to me, your reef ain't out your door handle. Reef, I'm saying it the wrong way. I have no idea, but anyways, that's how I say it. Reef. Um, I'm not doing all that stuff. It's just to me, I just didn't want to put it on the um. Just a plain canvas because to me that's kind of boring so I might redo my Christmas tree and do this all right I might also do I think a smaller canvas would be cute with um, oh the bling bling the word peace so you could have the reef in the middle and you can have two little canvases 
all the same wood grain thing and then one say peace one say noel or joy or all that kind of stuff so very cool i'm going to do the edges and i'm sorry you won't be able to see it and i have to work quickly don't want to get it on the top there we go and same technique up drag and down and up perfect so i'm going to do this very quickly i'm going to let it dry and then i'll come back and we'll get our bling on i'll see you in a bit hey we're back i got my bowl we're going to mark like we did the other one i have basically two panels here and I used my hey just nothing use my scissors just to measure and make sure we're both even my sharpie I'm doing a circle and this is just so we can mark the where to place our lights and there we be now where'd i put my lights over here i have my lights these are fairy lights there you go perfecto i'm going to poke a hole in the canvas again with an exacto knife if i can find where i put it oh my goodness I try to put everything in the same spot. We're gonna use this biggie, big guy. All right, again, we're gonna put it off to the side. Now, I'm thinking we're gonna use this pretty girl. I think so. And someone suggested that maybe I should have left those extra bits of lights and that could have went around the trees that were in the, um, the back of the truck. And I think there would have been too many left to do that. But this one we're going to try. We're going to leave them out and see if I can intertwine, wrap them into the stuff that's inside of this that I'm going to glue into. So, sorry, I put it there just so I can mark kind of roughly. We're going to go here. I don't want to go too, too hard and we're gonna flip over the canvas see the side the edges are all done <sighs> that one turned out really good and da, 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 da. perfect eh so we're gonna put her in through that little hole Oh, worked perfect pull it all the way through till you hit the end and then I am going to tape it down and I want to tape it so that it's gonna come this way oh glue first silly girl Alrighty, I am using my E6000. Still in my brain, I keep wanting to say, oops, E, uh, different names. But anyways, we got her today. We got the right name. Let's just put a glob of glue there. Tape it so it stays in place. Tape that so it stays in place. And then we're gonna flip the canvas. I don't know what that is. Alrighty. Back we go. And we're gonna just go around in the circle. 
You're still in frame. Awesome. I love the stand. I'm glad it's working out. All right, we are going to. Where did I put my little thing? There we go. Little gob of glue. Right there. Actually, I think it's better if I tape it first. Little bits of tape. And then it'll give the tape it close to the lights, and then that way you're not um, you got room to place your glue here so that they adhere. And if you go out on the outside of the line, which would be a little probably easier. And that way you're not, um, we want to put most of our liquid glass so that everything's on the outside of the reef. We all like the Remembrance Day video. I'm so excited to do that. I was had been waiting and waiting. And now that I'm home, it's nice to be able to just come down and play. There we go. Two more. I kind of like this blue, but it looks more green underneath, which is fine. And we will do one. Hmm. I don't know where to put that one. Actually, we'll leave. I'm going to put that right there on top of the light. And I'm going to glue all of this down. So I'm using goodness. I guess I'll put it on my hand. A big, a big, big glob fell out. All right, here we go. You'll laugh at me. I've got tape on my chin. And I'm just spreading it out. Because again, like it don't matter, this is going to get covered up with, um, the E6 <laughs> with the um, liquid glass so there's no and it was a very good idea how I did it last time we just I went heavy with all of the, um, the glass in the middle so it was all around the reef so that was good And this doesn't take much to dry, so I'm going to leave it dry. And then we will come back and I will we'll get to have fun playing. Oh, there we go. Perfect. One more. Oh, I lied. One more. <laughs> there we go. This is so much easier because when I was doing it the last time, I the very first time, I did it um, 
with the tree that did not turn out, I'm going to put a little more glue on this one, ended up, it was horrible. Because I was trying to do it with the resin and I had to keep coming down every hour, every half hour, poking it down. But this one worked out quite well. All right, I'm going to leave that dry and we'll come back and go and bling everything up. The fun part is about to happen. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. We're back. My glue is dry. I removed the pieces of tape and this is what I've decided I'm doing. Remember, it came empty. I have some sprigs from um, this reefy thing I bought at the dollar store. So I just cut off some stuff, put it in the middle. It's not adhered yet, but then I'm almost wondering if I could put, like, look at that. At the end of the season, I tend to go and buy stuff that's on sale. It's at the end, I'll pick up. So I had these. I'm thinking I might put a little bit of this and maybe a little bit of that in side of the um, the sleigh. Now, also, I bought these at the dollar store. They weren't at the dollar store. There's that little shop where I said I got my snow in town, where I got that stuff. It's like a, a surplus store. It, they have all of Amazon returns and stuff like that. Anywho, they had these, they were a dollar, okay? And they had these, they were a dollar for three. Like seriously, like you could do that and you could make a reef around his neck. Like, is that not the coolest? And it's flat so you could put it, oh. So, Again, my friends, this is endless. Don't let your imagination just, it can go crazy with this. Um, so I've just stuck these in, they're not adheres, but I wanted to show you before we started, someone was suggesting to, to put, I'm gonna show it so you can see it. I have the, the lights inside. Hi, my battery died. I thought it was on, but it's not. I have mixed up my Liquitex liquid glass with my um, black diamond emerald green pigment, which, oh my goodness, I need to buy more. It's almost empty. I have, oh, I feel so bad because I had all this showing I will, once I get this done, I will show you what I did and why my lights are sticking up looking foolish. Okay. I'm going to leave it set because it, it doesn't much matter, but I feel bad because I had this, these lights were wrapped all around in here. This is what I'm going to do with the sled. I have these poinsettias. I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna periodically put some of these in the reef, I think. So I will hot glue that into the sled after, okay? I won't um, make my video as long. I apologize, the last two, but my um, poppy one, I don't apologize because that one I was meaning making it a tribute. So, all right, we're gonna squirt out lines like we did the last time. Worked out quite well. Just make a semicircle. You want it to 
spread out. And I'm going to come back with my brush and thicken it out. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. I think that looks good. Do a little bit on the inside. Just because you want it to to look because you're your wreaths and I'm probably saying it wrong people were saying I thinking are a reef r-e-e-f but I am saying wreath I apologize <laughs> yeah I think that looks good I think I might bring this upper part down a little bit Perfecto. And now I'm going to bring, I don't know, bring this out so it makes him a little bushier. Thicken this up a little. That's good actually. I might actually come in and define this a little more, maybe. Make it smaller if that's possible. Maybe use my. Oh, I got pushed way over here. One of these guys just to define that. This is awesome. It's my silicone. Um, like a pen. Thicken that up a little in there. Just bring little bits so it's kind of not one big chunk and you know what it probably isn't even going to matter because it's going to be all filled in with a whole bunch of stuff this area here i'm not overly worried because that's where our um our sleigh is going to go There you go. All right. With that being said, I'm going to put down some of this green from Ikea. My son's girlfriend gave this to me and I think it'll be pretty in here. So we're going to go again, heavy, heavy down the line of the, um, where the lights are. It will one mute the lights so they're not so bright or stark and two it'll cover up the wires a little more than what they are I was going to switch it up and use the other stuff as well, but I'm just going to use this. So we're going to sprinkle all around. Oh, 
Hopefully we're hitting the ends a little bit. Oh, I don't want to go too heavy. I'm just going to come back again. Just with a little bit more on the... Like I said, it'll bring that three dimension up. It'll give it a little bit more depth as well. Perfect. Then we will put some... Whoops, sorry. They ain't going on, right? We'll put some Martha on there. My... Um, Confetti glitter. This one's silver. I need to get, well, I got, well, probably half. We will be putting some of Martha on there. Up high and give it a sprinkle because you don't really want to go a big blob. Now, someone had mentioned in one of my videos, I'm not sure which one, that when putting the glitter, I should go from big to, from the chunky to the fine. That would be good. But my thoughts, the way I was layering them was I want this to adhere more. So I'm going to put it down first and then whatever falls into that is a secondary one. So to me, um... You can do whichever way you want, but for me, I like the idea that I, what I want to stick first would be what I'm going to put down first because you're layering so much on top, you're going to have some of it fall off. So now again, I am using the two greens that I had found inside of my dollar store package. These are the two greens and we're going to give those a shake around. And don't forget to come around because you want all of the edges of the, um, where I dragged out the, um, my brain's not working for the reef. Whoa, no. Did you just see that? It was the end and it all came out here. So I'm, I'm going to come back right now. Just because I don't want to, mind you, you know what? That's going to be in the area, but I don't want it to be so. There. I'm hoping that rectified a little bit. I'm going to come back with the other green. Actually, a little bit. We'll just go quick on the outside. Kind of where that other stuff didn't get hit. And then I have this chunky glitter. It is the one that was, um, if I can find the little label, which I don't have. It was from Michael's. It was the cranberry, like a, came in a little kit. There was four. I'm going to put it in my hand. See, there's a whole bunch of different sizes. And again, right in this area, I wouldn't go too worried if something goes awry because that's where we're going to be putting our, it's probably easier to do it this way. Just give it a shake. I want some over here. There you go. Alright, I think that's enough for that. 
So I'm going to let that dry and then um, we will come back and put our, oh shoot, no, we want these in there. No, I glued them on last time. I'm going to still do that. We'll do that. So I'm going to let this dry, but I have to show you, I found a few things at the dollar store. Look at this little guy. Is that, that not cute? That could go here, you know, but look at it. It has its own light. So it's like I said, you walk through and you find different little things. And just because it's at the dollar store doesn't mean that it's not good. Um, you can still make beautiful stuff. You just have to spend a fortune because not everybody has a lot of money to spend. So with that being said, I'm going to let you go and we'll be back once this is all dry and we're going to give it a shake, shake. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, we're back. I'm going to shake off my extra stuff. Let's get a look at what this is going to look like. This is always the fun part. I put my puppy pad inside out so that it's the shiny side up so I can catch all of the extras and reuse it in another one. so I can see. Pressed and pressed. Okay. I'm just going to work over what I got. Awesome. So I did take my little, um, my brain is not working. It's late tonight. <laughs> My little sled and I hot glued these in there. And I'm thinking I might just hot glue. So this guy stays back because they're not, they're sticking out a little bit on me. And I'm hoping, hoping I can just a little dab. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. And then that way it'll, st oh, it worked. Okay. And that way it, it can stay. It's going to get rid of all of this. Yeah. So it's not, and this stuff will bend. I'm going to try. There. So I glued the pine cones and all that fun stuff. Now I'm going to try, actually maybe I will turn the lights on and then we can see where we're going to put these lights because you want them to go around, but I want to hide them. What, maybe what I'll do is I'll put this down first that way and then wrap it wrap it wrap it now I am going to use my my um, e6000 a lot of e6000 big dollop. Ugh. Dollop 
here. And another one. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to show you. I put a big, like a lot. And we are going to stick it there. Yeah, I think like that. See if I can. That's so funny. My cat's down here rambling through stuff. Okay, so that's gone there. Now, not sure. Do I do the pine cone, the pine cones, or do I do the poinsettias? Hmm. I think I'm going to do the pine cones and the berries again because I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> My cat, he's never really down here, and that's quite funny. All right, let's get some glue some pine cones on here. Woo! Let's go over here. some berries there we go ah, another little pine cone him down here and another little guy some more glue we'll put him here That's, I don't know, I don't know, do I do another one here? It looks kind of em empty up there, so I'm going to do another one there. Okay, and then I'm going to snip smaller of these berries. Let me do it here. See if I can get little bits. That seems like a lot. Once the colors are coming off, not what I want. Let me see. I think this one will work. Just want like two or three. I don't want a whole bunch. And I'll put this one down here. A little bit of blue. a little of these. 
these off. Perfect. So now we'll put some glue on this. <laughs> Let's see if I can snip a little more down here. Oh, there's another one. I'll put those. Whoops. I think that is good. Now, I'm wondering if we can one here because I think we look a little empty. Another little small one. We'll put him here. Yeah, I think that's good. Perfect. All right, let's get a little glue on him. Let's see if I can snip this one in half. Maybe not. Oh my goodness. Well, that's not good. We need to get some that are a little bit. Let me get at this one that I had. Oh, there's a piece right there that might work. Let's see if we can. You don't want a whole bunch, just a little bit. All right. There. Oh, I think that worked. Let's get some more little bits of glue. And we're going to glue it where... There. Oh, I got an extra one here that could probably stick there too. Woohoo! Some glue on there. Oh. Sorry, just gotta get my fingers working. There we go. Let's give it a little bit of a push. Hold it in there. Perfect. I think
think that's actually that. Um, I'm going to let it dry overnight and I'm going to come back and probably play with it's got twisted play with that with the lights in there. I don't know. What do you think, guys? I think it doesn't look too bad. We have too much in there. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it at that for tonight, and we will come back in the morning once it's all dry, and I will let you see what it looks like. All right, have a good night, guys. Well, there we go. I think it's done. I'm not too, not too bad. I'm just gonna put lights on so you can see it. I think it turned out pretty cute. I like the wood grain. Like the edges are just so cool when you do it all. I think it's kind of cool. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. Um, I'm off to take this to the store, this one and the other one. So hopefully we'll have some success and she'll be asking for another one. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so when I put up my next video you'll get notified. And if you like what you see, give it a share. I'll talk to you later. The next one. Love you guys. Bye. There's the second one I did. Kind of like the the sleigh. I was, wasn't sure if it was too big. And there you go. I'm just going to put the lights on and let you see. I did wrap the lights around the um, the sleigh. There we go. This one turned out quite cute. Anyways, there you go. See you in a bit.